So I've got a few that I can tell about. One of them was I went down on an exchange to the border of Texas and there's stray dogs everywhere. And so one cool experience, like there was a dog that I like pet and made friends with. And then he followed us around to each door and just chilled like right on the sidewalk or a little bit further behind us and then to each door. And then it was so sad. We got in the car and we had to move areas where we were. And so we drove away and that dog was like running after us because it wanted to be with us. It was so sad. But yeah, there's stray dogs everywhere. And then on the opposite side, there's some really mean stray dogs. So you go and then they just try to bite your ankles when you're biking around. And so like you break really hard to screech at them and then they get scared or you just like have to kick them off you sometimes because they're trying to bite your ankles. So that was kind of cool on the border. Um, and then there was this one time where there was this bulldog just stalking us. And it was in just like a regular like suburban neighborhood, but it was me and my companion. Um, so we go to knock on a door and it's like an indent into the, the house. And so the, like you have a long corridor and then there's the door. And so we knock on the door and then we look back and the dog is like stand, the, the pit bull or the bulldog was what it was, is standing like right in the opening and barking at us. And we're like, okay, what do we do? And so we're sitting there. Um, uh, and so we're kind of feel like, what do we do? So I just like have heard so much, like you just be as confident as you can. You just walk past it or you walk by it. And if it goes out, you just like have to do something. But like, if you're confident, they usually won't do much is what I've pe heard people say. So that's what I did. I just walked past ho hoping that my companion would follow me, but he was stuck. <laughs> so the dog like let me pass and didn't care, but he was like, the dog was just like there. And maybe there was some distance between the opening. And so my companion was just sitting there in like the crevice. And he's like in this crevice thing. And so I have to like run back and like, Hey, we got this other. And then we kind of went out. And so that was our bulldog story. Oh, I have more animal encounters. I guess I have a lot. Um, so we served in an area where SeaWorld was. Um, and there were three members in our ward who worked at SeaWorld. One worked with the penguins, uh, another worked with the sea lions, and another look, worked with the beluga whales and the dolphin show. Um, so they gave us uh, tickets and we got to come see, we got to go check out the beluga whales. And I got to, you got to like either put your hand on its head or it would give you a kiss. So I got a kiss while I was on my mission from a beluga whale. I had to talk to my mission president after, but it's okay. But so I got kissed on the head by a beluga whale and then uh, um, we got to feed otters and then we got to hang out with sea lions. And so we, they taught us one thing that we could do to make them make a sound um, or to do a trick. So mine was you stick your hand straight in the air and then the sea lion like rears its head up and like roars. And that was really cool. Um, and then the person who worked with the penguins just brought out a bunch of baby penguins for us to play with. It was the coolest thing ever, like literally so cool. And then there's one picture we have where one of the missionaries I was with is like leaning down and his tie is down and the penguin's like biting the end of his tie. It was so cute. And I took a bunch of selfies with the penguin. Um, so yeah, it was a cool experience, animal experience.